Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by the old base camp here. I'm out here in the in the barn playing around. Uh, different little project here. I've uh, been watching some of uh, uh, Randy Oliver, I think is his name. And uh, I wanted a little bit different strategy on my two frame nooks as far as row of my control. And I think this will work because I've been looking at his stuff and he's having excellent results with it. Uh, he's using he's using them blue shop towels. He cuts a roll of them in half and he soaks them in his stuff. It's a glycerin oxalic acid uh, combo. You mix up equal portions of it, um, weigh it out. Or you could just, I guess, eyeball it in, in two containers, get this stuff equal. It's by weight. Get the same weight of acid, same weight of glycerin, vegetable glycerin. Um, and then you're going to soak your stuff in it, whether it be those towels or uh, sponge. Some are using those cellulose sponges. And uh, I'm going to try this drywall tape right here. Got a, I got a rake set up over there, and I got my drywall tape, and I put a mark here on the bench, this one and this one, so I can come up here and cut it. But uh, I've cut these. I pre-cut these already. I'm just playing around. If this works good, I'll set up a, a nice deal to hold my paper, and I'll probably go to an antique shop. I've seen them in these antique shops, the old paper cutters they used to have in schools and stuff I've seen a lot of them in there so I might pick one of them up but yeah this is the trick here what you want to do is you mix those two equal portions up in a pan I've got a turkey uh, roaster pan thing that would be perfect for this uh, they say don't use use glass or stainless uh, so that turkey thing would be perfect because it's a ceramic and you heat the material up to 160 don't or 170 max don't go over that you'll you'll destroy the stuff from what i understand so cut to cut the temp off at 170 use a laser probe thing whatever or a th candy thermometer in there and uh so here's the object of this little trick here uh, i pre-cut i pre-cut these here uh this length has to be Right at eight, right, right around 18 inches is this length of this. And the object is here is to put this over the top to where it's hanging down on the sides like this. And for a two framer, you will put two in. You'll put one on this side like this and come over on the next frame over here and put one over here. And on a five frame, you can do the same thing. And then when you get up to 10 frame, you want to have like four, at least four of these in there. And you can leave them in for, they're saying 40, 45 days. And the bees will start chewing these up and hauling them out the front door. And so they're stringing oxalic acid all through the hive and uh, killing them mites. Mites don't like oxalic acid and... I understand they don't get a uh, build up a, a, a tolerance to it. So that's cool. I've been knocking out a bunch of these here. Uh, I put, I've been researching quite a bit on the uh, PT stuff. I've done it in the past. I know Bob Benny does it, but he mixes, uh, I think it's 8%. I don't know what's in the regular PT store wood. But I've decided to halt that program, and uh, I put the material out back, and it's on a, it's on a, one of the bee stands. I'll let it weather for a year or two out there, and then I'll assemble it. I haven't cut any plywood up, but I'm not going to cut that. I'm going to save that PT wood for uh, workbenches or whatever. But I've been knocking these out. Uh, I've been buying these 10-foot 2x8s, but I'm 10-foot long. And I bought two. I bought two boards the other day. I whacked these things out. I bet. I bet I wasn't out there not even 20 minutes, cutting to length and chopping this. Not even 20 minutes to knock this project out. So I got enough for a dozen hives here. 
what you'll end up with what you'll end up with is this <coughs> this is what you're going to end up with with all the saw cuffs your last piece is going to be this high so it's going to be 3 8 less than a 10 inch one okay but guess what you take one of these I got and you end up with two, I had two boards so you're going to end up with two of these shorter ones but they're 3 8 shorter so just put one on the other end make your make your tops flush with your plywood right and you're going to have a 3 8 at the bottom that'll be an entrance works out perfect you get a dozen you got no you're going to have a dozen hives out of two boards 10 foot long okay I'm running a little test here with with this uh, with this paper and it looks like it's penetrating very nicely here this is just canola oil in here canola veggie oil so what you're going to do is heat up heat up your material in a, in a pan in my case I'm using a turkey deal actually it's the same pan I used to make bone broth in I haven't been making bone broth for quite a while I don't know I just got off that kick but uh, yeah while the materials hot you make up a bunch of these and you fold them in half and you set them right down on that liquid in that pan and say if the liquid only comes up to here that's fine just let them soak up real good in that 170 degree temperature oil it's going to be pretty uh, absorbed so once it gets you wear some rubber gloves with this stuff and you may want to wear some uh, I don't know how strong it is it's probably strong when you heat that acid up to 170 it's probably going to be quite strong vapors coming out of there wear eye protection and anyway I'll put that in there and then let it soak good in there in that hot oil and flip it over just so this paper gets totally saturated and then I've got a little a grate over here you could take hardware cloth whatever and get some good heavy duty rubber gloves on pull it out and set it on top of your pan put the grate on top and let these drip dry and then they're ready to go in your colony okay so I think that'll be a cool experiment on that quickie video I got I can say if this thing works better if this thing works good here this paper I'll, I'll make up a little plywood stand with a nice you know quick change out roller dealy and I'll set it on a shear with stops where I can just sit there pull it and shear it you know get a little production line going on it because you'll use a lot of these if you got many colonies and some of these guys are running a thousand or better colonies and doing this same system so get some of these built guys this is going to work out ideal this may be my go-to from now on and I'm using a good quality exterior plywood that I'm going to put in tall earth preservative and then we're going to put a couple coats of paint on I got another uh, found another little special prize down there always go by the paint section guys at Lowe's or Home Depot wherever and uh, Look at there, I got some more deck stain. I got two gallons of deck stain. This stuff goes a long way. That other one's a dark one. This is some kind of a, uh, I don't know what they're calling it. Called Classic Gray. That'll be a cool looking beehive. Dries in two hours. This Midwax stuff is very good quality. I'll just paint this on the outside only. They actually had another gallon down there. They were only nine bucks. Both of those cans were only nine bucks a piece. So look for those deals. Wherever we can save money, you know, let's do it. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Be happy. Bye-bye.